everyone! Welcome back to my channel. I'm Lindsay from The Vegan Twist and I'm currently standing in a bathroom. <laughs> I'm about to travel back to the States and we came down the night before to get a hotel room um, just because it makes it a little bit less stressful um, and Andrew's about to do a call in the other room so I'm kind of hiding out for the moment. So we are flying back to Tucson, Arizona and it's a very long trip and I'm not really looking forward to the flying bit so I thought to make it a little more interesting I would do a little film, do a video, show you guys the kind of things that we eat when we're doing these big international trips and what's on offer at the airports for vegan food. To give you guys an idea of just how long the trip is, our first leg is from Heathrow to LA and it's 11 and a half hours. 11 and a half hours. And then we have two hours, a little less than two hours in LA and then it's an hour and a half flight to Tucson. So it's a long day. <laughs> but for our first flight, we are flying with Virgin and we managed to get an upgrade to premium economy. And they do have a vegan meal for us. I have no idea what it is. And I, um, I'm a little bit worried. I've been let down before. So I'm gonna make sure we pack some stuff before we get on the plane. And we're also gonna have some lunch before we go. Um, and that's it. I never drink enough water when I travel, so I'm gonna try and be better this year. So I don't end up being a parched lemon when I land. It was this jackfruit burger with um, like a vegan tartar sauce and avocado. We also picked up some pret sandwiches just in case uh, they forgot our vegan meal on the flight or if it's crap because you never know. But hopefully we won't have to eat them. our connecting flight. We're here just with minutes to go. So I just got a really easy snack. Sprinkles and some water. Um, it's not ideal, but we don't really have time to go searching for decent food.
Good morning, everyone. I didn't do a wrap up video last night because it was pretty late by the time I got home and I was really tired and I looked pretty bad after <laughs> traveling for so long. So just a few thoughts on the food we had yesterday when traveling. Um, I think the highlight was definitely that jackfruit burger. It was so, so good. It was smoky barbecue jackfruit with loads of avocado and a vegan tartar sauce on a beetroot bun. And the chips were really nice and hot and crispy and just really, really, really nice. And I think the restaurant was called Spatino. It was in Terminal 3 at Heathrow. So if you're ever there, definitely check that place out. The food on Virgin Atlantic was pretty terrible <laughs> compared to United, which is who we normally fly with. The Virgin food was just bland and tasteless and dry. Um, the main course was like this tomato beans with um, soy meatballs and some veggies. And the meatballs were okay. The beans were just inedible. Um, and the portion sizes were pretty small. They also gave us a little snack, which was like a bean toasty. And again, so too dry to eat. And then at the end of the flight, we had, um, they do like afternoon tea. And for us, they gave us a falafel wrap which again, fillings were bland and dry. So we did end up eating the two pret sandwiches we took and I'm glad we got those because we would have been really hungry if we hadn't. We didn't have any time in LA to get food. Um, we kind of, we, we got to the gate with just, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes to spare, but that was, that's okay. Cause we weren't that hungry at that point. And the flight was only an hour and a half, so by the time we got to my mom's house, we were pretty hungry, but my mom is so sweet and um, whenever she knows that we're coming back, she makes a big soup for us. And so last night she made a spicy vegetable lentil soup with a little bit of Kite Hill vegan cream cheese and some coriander and it was just perfect to have that just and have a glass of wine and go to bed and yeah, end our journey. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, I, let me know if you want me to do anything else like this in the future, or any other sort of travel type blogs or vlogs even. Um, please give me a thumbs up if you liked it and also consider subscribing. Thanks.